tunnel at the top here so you could log out but right now this training video is showing you how to make changes to your site so let's say for example you want to go to uh, menu and okay let's say that you want to make a change on this page in the copy here so what you do is you go to edit page and it's processing at the moment for some reason my browser is quite slow it's still going through okay so this is the panel for editing the page and um, as you can see the full size image and the copy so what we have here is um, to edit the copy on any of the pages it's quite easy so let's put in um, testing one two three and if you wanted to make that a different color we would go to um, A and let's we may want to make it orange for example and you'll see that it's orange or if you want to make it bold you can do bold italic so that's where you use some of the features to change the site and then you update to save and now that the page is saved we go to view page to take a look at um, the change and it then takes you to the site page and as you can see testing one two three is here at the bottom that's been published but um, naturally that's not what we want right now so I'll just go to edit page again and I'll go down to those words and remove that and call us today to enjoy our experience call us today to enjoy your experience with us so this would be good to link up to your contact us page so what I would do is click onto the hyperlink here and it comes up with this window now what I'll do is I'll bring up your website again and choose the page that I want to link it up to. So we'll go back to your site on a new tab and uh, contact and bookings. So it's, this is a good place to actually um, guide them to so that all the details are there. So I'll copy that URL, go to here. Uh, paste it into here and then uh, call the title book with Mazzaro restaurant here and open click on that for open link in a new window tab and add link so that's what the new link, link looks like we save that I have yet to set up your um, Google account with the uh, bookings form and that will be put uh, added into your booking page. I haven't quite completed that yet but I'll give you these videos so you can make the changes to your site, to your gallery and to your header. So I'll make sure that's done today and I'll get back to that uh, form later in the week. I've just got about uh, videos to make for about three clients and three different websites. They're all very different in their themes. Okay, so what we'll do now is view page. And we'll go to the link here. Call us today to enjoy your experience. Book with Mazara so you can see how it's all working. And when you click on that, it takes you straight to the contact us page. 
So that's how easy it is, it is to create a hyperlink. And to go to another page, so let's go to another menu page, say um, Kids Menu. There's nothing in the kids menu. I thought there was something here. Uh, let's go to another page. So we'll go to set menu. The a la carte is quite different so I need to create another video for that because that's um, solely programmed with this particular interface. Okay, so what we have here is the two courses and the three courses that you've got at set prices. So this would be pretty easy to change. All you need to do is, if the entree is changed, for example, you would just click onto the word I'll turn the ampersand into and down. We'll go back to the set menu. Ah, oh, it would help if I edit. So we go to edit page, forgive me, of course. Again, I'm just waiting for the Chrome browser to bring up the uh, editable area, which is here. So, for example, salt and pepper calamari, calamari. I will change the ampersand to and. So it's as easy as that changing the words on this page. Uh, download PDF, that's an image and that's linked to a PDF file. So I've changed it to salt and pepper in words. Update the page to save it. And view page. And you can see now it's published, Salt and Pepper Calamari, um, Surf with Rocket and Orange Reduction. So it's pretty easy to make your changes that way. Now for the gallery page, we'll click onto gallery. And the way you add an image, Let's go down to here. I've added one here. So what we do is we go to edit page. It's actually a little bit different. Sorry, we do need to go into gallery here. This is where the change takes place. But we've got the, our gallery page up for the moment. So we go to gallery. Gallery three columns, edit. And here we have the images. So naturally we don't want that one there, so we'll trash that. Yes, delete this image. Great. So to add a new image, what we need to do is we'll go back to the gallery page that I clicked on.
and edit page. Now the standard pages of the site have this add, me add media feature which is very important. So what we do here is we go, we click on to add media and to get a new image up insert media create gallery we don't need to create gallery but we will insert media so what I'll do is I'll upload another image upload files select file and on my desktop I have another um, image of my cat and dog together very cute cute ones so I'll go to this one here so it it's image 0071 on my desktop open to upload and as you can see it's showing you that that image is being uploaded here so that image is now uploaded and I'll call it um, my dog. My dog. Now, I won't insert it into page. We've just got it uploaded into the media library. So we'll click out of this. We go back to the gallery page and select media. So we'll go to the um, the pages here. These are all the images that are uploaded into your media uh, library. I'll go back to page one and you can see now on page one that's the latest image that I've uploaded. We click onto that and it's included into there and then we update the gal um, gallery three columns. So that's saving. It's showing that it's saved. It's there. We go back to the site. Mazzaro. We click on to gallery and there you can see the image that I've uploaded of my dog Meadow with my cat Fluffy. So as you click onto this image here and you follow the screen, people can go through to see the great food selection that you've got all the great photographs that are featured. You can see how it's functioning. The images are scrolling across quite nicely. Or they can go here to choose this one, or they can choose that one. But let's go back to that one. So I'm just scrolling it to the end where you can see my dog and my cat. There they are. So it's visible and um, naturally we don't want to have that on this page. So we'll just go back to the gallery, pink, uh, click on the pink icon and delete. And that's how you trash that image. And you update the page again. And that's how easy it is to add to your gallery uh, and delete from your gallery as well. So it'll be very easy for you to add in the new images. So hope you found this video useful and I will be uh, shortly creating the video showing you how to change the images in your um, header on the home page, the slideshow there. So enjoy the website and uh, may it get lots of new business for you. Thanks for watching.